to this week's Fireside Chat with Jesse. I'm joined today by Spencer Thomas, CEO of KLC Financial. Thanks for joining me, Spencer. Yeah, you bet, Jesse. Thanks for inviting me and thanks for having me today. No, I mean, I love I love the fireplace in the background. I want to say the last person who had a fireplace in the background was Jen Stick from Falcon Banks. Um, so maybe it's a <laughs> Minnesota thing. Uh, Darren Lisi was one of the first people I had on this it's like two years ago. And uh -huh. he showed me up with a fake fireplace right behind him. <laughs> so it's like, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, well, uh -huh. it, it, it is definitely needed in Minnesota, right? I mean, today it was, uh, I think it was eight degrees when I woke up and it's just going to get colder all day. You know, it's just one of those days where it, for whatever reason, gets colder as the day goes on, as opposed to what you're used to. So, yeah, yeah it's one of those things where I'm going to get off the plane on Monday. And I'm going to question why I chose to come to Minnesota in February again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it may be, right? But uh, fresh air, you know, clean fresh, fresh air. air let's say. Fresh air and great people, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, exactly. That's why you go up there. <laughs> um, Spencer, for those people who might not be familiar with yourself, do you mind just kind of introducing, um, you know, what you've done in equipment finance today, sir? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, I got into the business back in 1999. You know, prior to that was in various sales roles, primarily in, in telecom and, and accounting. Um, but uh, joined uh, a broker in, in 1999. and. Uh, Ultimately, that company became leasepoint.com. Um, we, um, that company didn't make it, unfortunately, but uh, the good news about Lease Point is I met Mark Keatman and uh, Mark and I got to know each other through that experience. And that led to you know, the opportunity to join KLC Financial in, in 2001 as a, as a partner. And, uh, you know, Mark and I you know, started in 2001 and, and uh, with, a, with one person or three of us. <laughs> and really sales focused, right? We, we went back to the basics of the, the, the simple business card, uh, no website. And uh, we just started from there and uh, started building the company and, and grew it organically uh, for, for many years. Uh, and then in 2017, uh, I had the opportunity to uh, become president of the company and, and really get more involved with the, you know, the, the, direction of the business and the day-to-day -day management. And uh, that was a phenomenal opportunity for me. And uh, about that same time, we really embarked on a growth uh, strategy uh, to embrace technology, to improve systems and processes and, and, and build the company in a new way. And uh, so that's been a lot of fun. And in March of uh, 2022, uh, became CEO um, as Mark uh, uh, retired and, um, and worked through 2022 uh, to continue to build the business and, and, and try to drive and, and create the vision. And then ultimately, um, during that same time, um, we were acquired in uh, August of 2022 uh, by Gulf Coast Bank and Trust. So that brings us to uh, where we're at. So. <laughs> so that's, a, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of activities um, in a, what was that? six month window <laughs> well 2022 was uh was a busy year <laughs> and uh and i wasn't it was there was a lot there was a, a strong team of people who put a lot of effort in i was certainly uh didn't do it by myself but um in fact i probably did less than a lot of uh, others who <laughs> who made it all happen but it was a fantastic year and uh um you know, a nice one to have behind us, but also a fun one to celebrate. Sure, absolutely. Just, yeah. you know, you have to ask yourself where it's like, okay, 2023 as we're doing some vision planning. Yeah, let's, let's, let's yeah. settle down a little bit. Let's, let's settle down. Exactly. <laughs> um, so do you mind just kind of talking about, um, you know, KLC, uh, the business lines that you're in? Um, you know, one of the things that I'm impressed with uh, about the organization is just the culture you have. Um, this is my, I think, 18th year in equipment finance and every okay. conference that I go to when I see the same people from the KLC, I mean, that's, that doesn't happen a lot in this industry, Spencer. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I agree. It was always important to, uh, to myself and, and to Mark to, you know, build an environment where, um, 
we took care of people. We went the extra mile to extend them the opportunity to you know, be able to be involved, you know, under the hood, but also um, invest as well. And, uh, you know, we, we recognized early on that it's just really the business is about you know, people, um, you know, people and, and process, really, but uh, people first. And we wanted to make sure we, when we got good people, we did everything we could to keep them. And uh, that was always uh, our focus first. And that included, you know, customers as well, right? So, you know, good employees, um, good customers, vendors, partners. When we, when we had that right chemistry, we, we just wanted to create an environment where they wanted to, you know, they wanted to be part of it and wanted to stay. So, um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's always been important to us. Um, today, um, I think that's where we're at, right? Today, the company, um, we're 37 people and we're and growing. We're a, we're a, a wholly owned subsidiary of Gulf Coast Bank and Trust. They're based out of uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. And we, our company is you know, focused on equipment finance space. We do financing and leasing and um, transaction size we're really focused on is, I would say 25,000 to $3 million. And we, we can go down to 5,000, we can go up to 5 million, but that kind of that 25, 30,000 number to, to 3 million is where we, we do the best, our best work. Um, still a generalist, you know, I think, and we'll continue to be. However, we got different individuals in the, on the team who have different specialties. So as a company, we're a generalist, but as, but as, as, as individuals, we're really focused on different verticals. Um, we're, we're, uh, some of the things we might do different than other finance companies is that we, we like the oil and gas space. Um, that's been a, a good space, especially for our, our bank. Uh, they're based in Louisiana and they have a lot of experience with that space. Uh, sure. so I think that's a differentiator. Uh, we're still, um, while well, we also like uh, the aviation space, so we, we can look at uh, aircraft as well as uh, simulators. And uh, that's been a, a good space for us as well. Um, but beyond that, we do a ton of work in you know, manufacturing, construction, transportation, um, a bit of technology, a little bit of ag. But we're kind of, you know, kind of packaging. You know, Minnesota's got a pretty big food industry presence. Sure. And so we do a fair amount of food packaging, food processing. Um, and then beyond that, just a smattering of other things. So. And now your 37 employees, are they all just outside of the cities up there or are they spread throughout the country? Yeah, great question. So today, uh, two, 35 are here in, the, in Minnesota and two okay. are out of state. And uh, okay. I, I would say that we as we grow, we'll anticipate having more out-of-state employees. Um, as you know, now as part of uh, having the bank behind us, we have a, a real focus on becoming a national company. Um, historically, we were we were national, but we were really a heavy in the upper Midwest region, and now we really sure. want to spread out. So, well, that makes complete sense. Um, no, it makes complete sense, Spencer. I just one of the things where people start to go more remote as an organization is tight knit as KLC and what you guys have built from that foundation. It's how do you bring that culture to somebody that's sitting behind a computer in like California? Um, I mean, something, something to noodle on, but more of just a question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a great question. It's not easy, right? Um, it's not easy, but in, in, zoom right or or yeah. teams, teams right it helps helps yeah. yeah but yeah. uh but you know i think we've all i i think at least i have come to you know appreciate and, and realize that nothing is better than a face-to-face -face meeting you know in in person whenever you can and and so for those employees that we have that are out of state now you know we're inviting them to come up to the office and you know, we try to do um quarterly um whole team uh, building, you know, team building events for the whole team quarterly. We want them to come to that. We want them to, um, you know, be in the office where, you know, we're, we want to make that available to them. We don't necessarily demand it. And we understand that different, uh, you know, we, we also need them to be going out and seeing customers and going to 
you know, different trade shows and conferences, but sure. when, when they can fit it in, we, we love to have them um, come in and, you know, we want to go see them as well, right? It's uh, it doesn't need to be a one-way street. We want to get out, you know, see them where they're at and, and go see their customers and, and support them in the field. So. Okay. No, that makes complete yeah. sense. And, um, you know, what you guys do from a team building perspective is admirable too. Um, you know, you don't, when I started off in sales, um, that was something that organization did. Uh, and it just helped build that. I mean, cause we're all competitive, right? We all want to have bigger right. numbers. We all want to, okay, <laughs> right. what's the board look like? How do I get above that person? Um, but just celebrating those victories uh, at the end of the year or throughout different milestones is big. And unfortunately, I think a lot of companies get away from that um, or they use the pandemic as an excuse where they could cut that from sure. their budget. But, uh, you know, it's, it was it was always one of those things where it's like, oh, why are we spending this money? And it's like, well, this is what <laughs> it gets. Um, so anyhow, first organization yeah. I worked for was like a hardcore believer. The guy was like, no, nah, that's in my budget. If I hit these numbers, that's in my budget. We're going, <laughs> we're going to go have a good time. So the next organization was like, well, how do we determine who benefits from that? <laughs> right. It's like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. Early in my uh, career with other companies, it was really all the focus was on the sales team. And you know, unfortunately, I mean, sales was the focus, but unfortunately, they didn't, the companies didn't even always come through, right? With, with what they promised, they might throw in a fourth quarter, like uh, um, new, new thing, right? Uh, so, yeah. I, and so I, that was something that was important to me, you know, having been with other companies where I felt like, you know, you kind of got, you know, jerked around a bit, you know, we really wanted to just, you know, create, you know, goals that were a challenge that, but were attainable. And then if we hit the goal, we wanted to follow through, right? I mean, there's nothing worse than feeling like you accomplished the goal, but then you got the, you know, rug pulled out from <laughs> under. Yeah. So so it's been it's been super important to KLC. You know, I, th I think a, f a few things um, all the way from just spending time together, you know, uh, on a regular basis. Um, we're, we're a flexible environment and, and I will continue to be. But we want to get people together. You know, we want to spend time together, both in the office and out of the office. We want to do fun stuff. We want to whether it be going to a, a dinner or a happy hour or doing, you know, axe throwing or going out on the boat together, you know, every, yeah. I think a lot of the uh, past summers we've gotten people, anybody who has a boat, we'll get the boats together. We'll get loaded up on the boats. Um, we'll go out on a day on the lake, you know, we'll just do fun stuff. And, and we invite everybody, you know, so at KLC, it's, it's about everybody because we recognize yeah. that in, in any, in, for us to be successful in, in, in any business, really, um, certainly, you know, um, sales is out there uh, hitting the street and, and working right. super hard. And I, you know, if you don't sell anything, you know, it's, it's, you don't have much, but it's only part of the <laughs> equation, right? Cause you got to sell, sure. but then it's everybody else, right? I mean, credit's working hard and accounting's working hard and operations is working hard. And, and so it's the whole team, right? Because just like, if you don't have, you know, sales, if you don't have credit or you don't have operations or you don't have anybody to account for it, you still don't have yeah. anything. So we've really, I, um, embrace that we believe it first and okay. foremost and we've embraced it and so anything we do it's everybody um and it's about everybody and we and so we win as a team we and we lose as a team and we and we're a team we're a team first and uh and so that you know translates to to everything we do but also as you know we do a, a company trip um and uh we're fortunate to continue that tradition and uh we just got back from a, a great time in the um a trip and, and meeting uh, on a in the caribbean so we had a great time and and uh also though you know had a lot of time to spend together and talk through sure. the business sure. and and plans and, and what we can do better and and bond at the same time so Sure. I mean, you have to have the agenda. I mean, it's a business trip. You know, you have to have the itinerary where we're meeting for breakfast. This is what we're covering from a business today. But it, as a salesperson, when you get back from that and you're so refreshed, it's like, how do I get here? What do I have to do to get here again next year? And the fact that you invite everybody, that's, that's even incredible because then it's like truly 
everyone rowing in the right direction. And a salesperson is only as good as the people that are backing up what they're selling. <laughs> well, exactly. Right. Um, everybody makes the product or service, you know, happen. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we, you know, we believe in follow through, right. Throughput and, and delivering a, a quality product in a, in a quality time frame and on quality terms. So yeah, we need the whole, we need everybody. <laughs> nope. Um, one question I have for you, going from a salesperson to more of an executive role um, and now being a CEO of a company, um, what was that kind of transition like, Spencer? Yeah, that's hard. Um, really. <laughs> it really is. It's like, it's a, is it almost like you get what you <laughs> ask for? <laughs> I guess so, right? Um. Yeah, I mean, it was hard because, uh, you know, there's a big part of me that's a, a salesperson, right? And uh, have a real passion and, and uh, uh, love, frankly, for, for sales. But uh, at the same time, um, there's a big part of me that uh, wants to continue to develop both the company, but myself and the team around me. And uh, I was really... Um, excited you know probably a little bit nervous but excited to have that opportunity to to step into that into a leadership role which really happened you know in 2017 and uh um to to really run the company and, and take on the the take on that challenge and uh okay. and i love challenge right i love a challenge and i love uh, a new goal and, and a new opportunity so um and change is always good so it's been a it's been a really um rewarding um, endeavor and I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> sure. and, and I'm really honored, you know, frankly, to, uh, sure. to have, uh, to have the opportunity and then to continue in, in this role, uh, going forward. And so I, at the same time, you know, I, I, I can't admit, I pick up the phone and, and call a customer or, um, I'm not afraid to stop and make a cold call. You know, if I, if I'm out of town and I, and I'm driving down the road, I'm like, Oh, that looks like the perfect vendor. I'll stop, right? And okay. Uh, okay. I'll 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 try to try to get a door open and then hand it off to somebody. So I still do some of that, but uh, um, you know, no, in between in between other stuff. No, that's <laughs> awesome, and that's where you know I want to say my first well, even up until four months ago was just business development, right? Um, and in sales, it's like, okay, I hit my number. I know what I need to do to structure this week to hit what I need to sell and more. But when you're more of like, okay, now it's just an army of me. It's like, wait, <laughs> what? Now, now I got to do what? Now you got to like sell, execute, deliver. Um, and it's almost like you're going from selfish to selfless <laughs> where, where, where you put like other people where it's like okay well how do i help this person how do i help that person um and it's it's different yeah yeah that's uh but i you know i actually enjoy that part of it right um trying to help others and and uh, whether it be a customer you know when i was in sales even today you know a ceo of the company love to um sit down with a customer, a longtime customer and hear his or her story about how they've, they've built their company and how KLC was part of that. Um, or, you know, especially, you know, like employees, right. Who came in who were in a, maybe a support role and um, get to help them grow and develop their career. And, and now they're um, either in a, in another role, a senior role or in a sales role or what have you. And you, you just get to be part of that and, and watch them and flourish and, and grow. That's exciting. And, and to your point, you know, if I had to do it all by myself, uh, yeah, it would be hard. <laughs> but I've been really, really fortunate and blessed to have a, a fantastic team. Um, we've always been a team building type business. That's always been, you know, in, you know I think uh, important to us. And so really fortunate we got a strong team a leadership team but really throughout the business um so yeah they all make me look good which is nice no, no that's <laughs> that, that's fantastic and that's you know what what i look up to as a leader um you know as someone that you're not going to ask someone to do something you're not willing to do yourself and that's you think that's common sense but unfortunately it's not <laughs> yeah 
Right. It is true. Right. I mean, you, you know, we, you know, I, I really love and believe in leading by example and, and to the, the extent possible being a servant leader. And, and uh, so it's hard to um, expect others to say, be in the office early if you're not in the office early. Right. Or, yeah, or stay, yeah, yeah. stay if you don't stay. And, and I just, I, I feel like that's just part of, part of the, part of the responsibility, part of the job and, and part of the opportunity at the same time. So. Yeah. There's some interesting uh, servant leadership's interesting. I, I never really even understood kind of that methodology until like Brian Slipka kind of like some of the stuff that he puts out or Mike Jones from CIT. It's like, huh, I started reading some books on it. That's interesting. Yeah. But it's also one of those things where it's like, how do you get people to be on the same page? Right. And it's something better, I'm better way. just still learning about as well and trying to you know, weave into, you know, my, uh, <laughs> my role, but uh, it, it's good stuff, right? It's good yeah, stuff. Absolutely. I think humble leadership is important. So. No, I agree 100%. So um, the, the merger for, for the business, um, you know, how is that? for you know um, an independent uh since inception what what was that almost 20 years later like how how was that yeah well you know what it was it was uh it was kind of a natural progression frankly um we we had you know like we talked about in 20 you know 16 and 17 uh having a vision for where we wanted to go with the company and uh you know, how I wanted to put the, the, the tech stack together and, and build the processes and systems and, and uh, who we wanted to be. And um, one, of the, one of the parts of that um, plan was, frankly, more capital, right? And uh, okay. we would get to a point where we would just, we would need more capital to continue the, the growth trajectory. And so um, at that time, it wasn't, um, had necessarily thought about uh, an acquisition, but certainly had thought that we would need, need more capital. But you know, as the company grew and evolved, um, it became more apparent that we were going to need a, a strategic partner at least. And huh. you know, we we were really fortunate to find Gulf Coast Bank and Trust. I, I think uh, we were we we knew who we wanted in a partner, and uh, we knew what was important to us that we could continue to have the culture, like some of the things we talked about, right? Have the culture, have the autonomy, be KLC financial and be who, who we are, be true to who we are and, 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 and keep our team, right? Keep the, the team together. Uh, we, you know, we got fantastic people in all aspects of the business. We wanted to keep them. And so we, that was important to us. And uh, when we went out, um, I actually, when we, we, we met Gulf Coast Bank and Trust through uh, another subsidiary, subsidiary of theirs who we'd known for a long time, for 20 okay. plus years. And we had the opportunity to see how um, that company was operating and, and uh, how, what their culture was and how things hadn't changed. And so we were really uh, um, excited about that. And, and so... You know, to answer your you know original question, it's it's gone fantastic. I mean, it's really been great. Um, we got so much support. You know, when we need it, where we need it, but at the same time, we got the ability to to still be in the market, still execute on the vision, and on the growth plan. And so, it's it's been a win win. I uh, I have to say that. Um, and I think if you asked anybody uh, at KLC. Yeah. I think they tell you the same thing. Um, we've, we uh, continued to grow, you know, month, you know, we got acquired in August and we, you know, August ended up being a great month. September was a great month. You know, I think November was the best month we'd ever had. And it, <laughs> so everything stayed right. And yeah. Um, yeah. we've been able to just continue to keep turning the wheel and um, it's been a really good thing. No, it's fantastic. I mean, they they acquired a well-oiled machine. Why why mess it up? <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I, true, right? And I think I give a lot of credit to uh, the whole team. Uh, Guy Williams, who's the CEO, um, just strong vision, strong leader, and and I think um, it's fair to say uh, that he that would be 
he would he would agree with you, right? Like, yeah. let's yeah. let's let KLC do its thing. So, no, that's that's fantastic because you see some of these acquisitions that happen. Um, maybe not more on the when a bank acquires an, an independent, but when the two banks like merge, it's like yeah. what's going on here, and it's like the <laughs> proverbial pissing match between both and. Oh yeah, yeah, everything's gonna be fine, and then it's just not fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and I think we all have those stories. I mean, we all know those those situations. We have friends, contacts who've gone through that, yeah. and I. And so when we contemplated originally the idea, I was you know, some hesitancy because I was like, "Ooh, yeah. I don't want to mess up all the all this good that we've created," and uh, but we take a different approach, and, and, and so hey, this who we are needs to kind of lead the conversation and um sure. and you might have a lot of conversations but ultimately um it's so important and uh i get it all the time people keep telling me oh you're in the honeymoon period and it's all going to change <laughs> i <laughs> i don't believe it I, I really believe that uh gulf coast uh, the relationship we have with them you know sure. certainly it'll sure. evolve right i'm not so naive to think that it won't evolve and, and, and that nothing's going to change, but sure, sure, sure. But, but uh, um, the things that are the, the, our ability to do business and be who we are, how we, how we address and service the customer and how we take care of our employees, um, frankly, is, is the same or, or only can get better, you know, it's only improved. So I'm a, I, it's been great, frankly, it's been really good. Perfect. And now we have a real solid direction. And, and I think everybody knows, Hey, we got, <laughs> we got this bank behind us. we got this strength. we got a lot of capital. Um, yeah. Watch out, watch I mean, out, man. Watch out. It's been a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> what were, what were your originations at the end of last year? You know, we did a, uh, about 131 million. So, okay. yeah. So what? Two, 250 this year. <laughs> Well, we're, we're looking to go up. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just messing with you, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, but we, we do, we are planning to grow and, you know, I'm not even sure I'm supposed to talk numbers, but, but no, next okay. year's number is going to be more I was, than I was, that. I, I was, I was just being a smart ass. Yeah. I can't help. No, myself. but, <laughs> but we do want to grow. Right. And, and, and the, the vision is to, is to significantly grow. So. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to shift gears a couple, if you don't mind, uh, and talk yeah, about, bet. um, like the, the trade associations and like specifically NIFA. Um, cause that's where I believe you. I mean, I see you guys at some ELFA events, but I think NIFA is where traditionally you guys have been at. Um, you know, how does being a member of that association, uh, Spencer, and what does that mean to KLC? Yeah. Well, first of all, all the associations that we're part of, and there's many, are very yep. meaningful they're yep. they've they've been great um you know specifically nifa um such a great network of people um i think uh wh what does it mean to klc i mean first of all great organization super honored to be part of it um we it, it's been great we got so many friends there so many contacts and uh what it's developed for me is a as a network of of other leaders who i can reach out to at any time and bounce ideas yep. off of and say, Hey, um, I got this situation or we're, we're working through this could be a compensation thing. It could be a, a customer situation and bounce ideas off of them. And, um, they're, they're very open to helping and, and like what, you know, in inversely the same. And I think sure. that has always been something that has been, I don't know, kind of refreshing about NIFA is that, everybody's willing to like pretty much be an open book. Right. And, uh, sure. and, and just, you know, they're way less guarded. Um, I'm certain that, you know, people are cognizant of what they, you know, if there is something yeah. that's real proprietary, but, yeah. but, ulti yeah. but ultimately, you know, there's just a real, real openness to helping grow. And, uh, and I could, you know, I'm not going to list off names, but I could list off, Hey, here's, here's a dozen people who um, I respect the heck out of who, who have helped me along the way. And, uh, and, may, and it's probably much more than a dozen. It's probably like four dozen. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I mean, that, first and foremost, I think those relationships are, are the biggest thing um, sure. for, for KLC. 
Yeah, I mean, you think of the, I mean, Minnesota's a leasing. I, I, I can't say hotbed because it's like five degrees up there. So it's a, it's a <laughs> cold bed. I don't know if that's appropriate terminology. But anyhow, yeah. um, I'm sure you have people like within a five mile radius that you're competing with these deals on. Um, some you win, some you lose. But at the end of the day, it's you're sharing knowledge and, you know, there's plenty, plenty to go around. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's crazy. It's always been crazy to me with all the players in the space, how um, that, especially like in Minnesota, you're right. There's a, there's a, there's a, a big equipment finance presence here, which is good. It's actually good for all of us because it just fosters more development, but how infrequently we might run into a neighbor down the street and uh, occasionally, but not that often. And you're right. There's a lot of business to go around and um, we're all we're stronger together and uh yeah so it's been good yeah <laughs> i just and, love those know, conver- I, I love those conversations <laughs> at trade shows where it's like really that's what you did <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's funny because it's like <laughs> yeah those are fun right <laughs> those are those are fun to talk through and and you know frankly there's a uh, quite a few companies in Minnesota who aren't members of NIFA and i don't think they're members of of any of the industry associations and we're you know, always trying to encourage them to, um, you know, even if they are a competitor, hey, you got to get involved, right? Come out in, in Minnesota. We got, of course, the ice fishing, which is uh, yeah. um, highly touted and, and a great experience. Um, yeah. But we also have the boat ride in the summer on Lake Minnetonka, which is a ton of fun. And, and, of course, and then obviously the, the different other events and the conferences. But sure. we're just encouraging our local um, equipment finance people who aren't involved. Hey, come out to come out to the boat ride or come out to the ice fishing and meet some people, learn about NEFA. And, uh, I, yeah. I just, I think about it. I mean, there's probably at least six companies I can think of that I've been to. And I'm like, where have you been? It's like, Oh, we've been around for 60 <laughs> years. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as a service provider, you're like, well, how am I supposed to know that you exist unless you go to, and yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. And I don't know if every state has that, has all those other companies that uh, are under the radar, but to your point, yeah, a lot of them are, are significant, right? Yeah. And uh, decent size, decent size yeah. for sure. Um, the other thing I want to ask, or I guess, thank you for, um, you know, we've done, we're not coming to Minnesota this year for EFC. Um, we're, we're switching up. We're not going to any place we went to previously this year. Uh, we've had a lot of requests to go other places. Um, but for the last two events that we did and our first event that we ever did for equipment finance cares, KLC was a, a big sponsor. So I wanted to thank you for your support on that, Spencer. Yeah, absolutely. We're always, uh, we want to be here to support the whole industry. We want to support, you know, EFC, however we can and, uh, appreciate all the good work you're doing, Jesse. I, uh, I was, uh, blown away when I went to the event here in the twin cities that you put on and just the both the quality people who were there the contacts but all the good work you know all the different uh, organizations that uh, were being supported and i was really happy to be part of that so thanks for the opportunity no No, thank you and if it wasn't for sponsors like you and klc then uh you know i I think you probably remember that phone call i called you up i'm like so i'm putting on an event and you're like well what's going to be at the (laughs) event i'm like it's it's evolving. I don't, I don't really know yet, but we'll, yeah. we'll figure this out together. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we do need to get you back to Minnesota. It seems like uh, conferences or events that come here, especially in the spring, uh, don't, don't t- typically want to come back, but uh, we got it, right. You, you show up, it might be sunny. It might be snowy. It might be cold. It might be hot. It might be hot and cold. So, but uh, yeah, hopefully you can work it back into the schedule. So. We'll, we'll figure out the, we'll, we'll get back up there in 2024. I have to balance between a, a, somebody in Buffalo requested and I'm kind of like, what, July, August, <laughs> September. I'm like, that's it. I, September might even be pushing it in Buffalo. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah we got three months we could maybe schedule this in. <laughs> I've never been, but I heard, I've heard good things. Good, good people, good food, a lot yeah, of snow, very good, bad very weather. Good people. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Spencer, I ask everyone who comes on here to give a little fun fact about themselves. Anything you'd like to share? Yeah, fun fact. Jeez, I um, I don't know. I, I like to think it's all fun, right? But uh, 
Um, let's see. I don't. I, I kind of a you kind of stumped me on that one. I did. Uh, let's. I don't know. I you know I grew up here in Minnesota. Uh, grew up on a dairy farm, and uh, okay. actually my I'm at, at doing this call from home today, and, and my daughter was she's home sick today, and I'm like you know when I was sick when I was 11, that meant you were in the barn uh, feeding cows, feeding calves, sure. you know doing all kinds of work. So you you know you didn't want to stay home sick, right? And and again, if she's sick, she should stay home, but. But that yeah, just yeah, meant yeah. for us, you were, you were doing, you were working, but, uh, um, but anyway, grew up here and uh, grew up on a farm, really proud of that, had a great uh, experience and was still really involved with the farm until just a few years ago, um, doing uh, with my brothers, doing crop corn and soybean farming primarily. So oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. It, it's, I want to say there's been a handful of people that have grown up on farms, um, and I even think maybe Amber from Honor Capital. But I, I think you're right. Back and yep. I think I, I might have to go back to, to, to her. But when she said that, I was yeah. like, huh. And then because I grew up on 300 acres, but it, was, it wasn't animal livestock. It was agriculture. And, okay. you know, it's like grapes, peaches, cherries. So it was that side <laughs> of it. So it's like, you're right. It's like, no, I don't want to go out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, but certainly, yeah, I'd like to tell you, I, uh, you know, I played pro football or I was, uh, you know, but nothing like that. Just, uh, that's what I came nope. up with. So <laughs> <laughs> this, this is all I got. This is, all this is got. what it is. This, this is it. Yeah. This, this, this is it. <laughs> but, um, uh, and my, my, my last question I have for you, Spencer is, you know, why should people um, who haven't done business with KLC, why should they consider doing business with KLC? Yeah, I, here's what I would say. I mean, KLC, we're, again, we're really about people. People first, we're, we're, you know, certainly making money is important, but we want to take good care of people. We want to take good care of our customers and we want to give the, the, those customers the opportunity to win, just like we want to give our employees the opportunity to win. And so, we, you know, that's what we think about, right? We're, we want to take good care of people. And I would say the reason to come do business with KLC um, or, or to even join KLC is because you're going to be in a very professional organization that uh, is, is really focused on customer first, right? And in building a, just a, a real positive winning experience. So um, we're, we're doing everything we can to make that happen. No, perfect. Nail on the head, sir. Well, I, I appreciate your time today, Spencer. Um, you know, stay warm. Seems like it's a little comfortable, cozy right there. So I'll just yeah. stay there. <laughs> perfect. Well, hey, <laughs> thanks so much, Jesse. Sure appreciate uh, the time today. You know, it's been a lot of fun. Look forward to seeing you soon. Yep, absolutely, Spencer. Have a good day, man. Take care. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Okay.